when you think of which commander pairing in rise of kingdoms has the highest possible attack you might think of commanders like attila with decada or maybe you think of nevsky with minamoto after he got his museum buff but what if i told you the highest possible attack that you can achieve in rise of kingdoms even if it's only for just a single turn is actually with infantry and it also doesn't include guan yu now i know that sounds crazy okay but the idea for this video came a few days ago when i thought what could possibly be the highest attack that you could achieve in rise of kingdoms now i'm not talking about the most damage that you could deal i'm talking about what is the highest amount of literal stats that you can stack if you wanted to hyper optimize just for attack and that includes random skills like Isongye's second skill that only has a 10% chance of giving you plus a hundred percent. Basically what I'm saying is what could be the world record for the highest amount of attack in a single turn in rise of kingdoms today. That's the question that we're going to answer. And it took me hours to compile all of the different ways that you can get a half a percent of attack here and an extra 1% of attack here. And I did all the math. So I just want to say before the video begins that I might be off by one or two percent here or there i mean there's so many different ways that you can get an extra point of attack for a particular troop type in rise of kingdoms that it's really hard to keep track of it all and also if you appreciate the hours of effort that went into making this video drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel okay so since the point of this video is to hyper optimize for the maximum amount of attack in a single turn we have to first start with the foundation and that is the commanders okay what commanders give you the highest possible amount of attack for a single given turn now i already said that it's not attila or takeda and that it is in fact an infantry pairing this pairing includes herald as the secondary and the primary commander for the highest possible attack in a given turn for rise of kingdoms is actually lu bu I'm I'm not even kidding this third skill on Lubu gives you 80% of extra attack on top of the 15% that he already gets up here and so if you can get this skill to proc at the right time under the right conditions and having Harold as your secondary with his 30% of attack and his 75% of attack that he gets from the stacks on his infantry and the extra 10% of attack that he gets when he launches a rally, this will brew the perfect storm for the highest possible attack on a single turn. Now you do have to get lucky. And I do just want to say that this video is not practical. Okay. A Lu Bu Herald rally is garbage. We are not optimizing for effectiveness or for damage. Even we're just trying to see just for fun what could possibly be the highest attack in a single turn so if you launch an infantry rally with lubu primary and herald secondary we'll talk about why lubu is primary in just a second but assuming that you get all of your stacks up on this third skill with herald and you do have this third skill trigger on lubu that gives you the plus 80 percent during those three turns these commanders have an extra 210 percent infantry attack well the attack from Lubu is universal, but that's just these commanders vanilla. That's with no talents, no gear, no technology, no anything, which is absolutely insane. Now let's talk about why Lubu would be primary instead of Herald when we're trying to optimize for the most amount of attack percentage. The answer lies in the leadership tree. Now I know you're looking at this talent build and thinking, oh my God, Omniarch, that is the worst possible talent build I could ever imagine. And you're right because this is, we're not optimizing for effectiveness we're optimizing for most amount of attack points okay and as you can see here we have eight and a half percent of attack points over here but what this isn't taking into account is the top two talents on the leadership tree name of the king will give you five percent extra attack when you launch a rally which we've already established we're going to be doing because we're using herald and close formation actually gives you 12 percent extra attack when you're under 50 percent so you get 17 percent from these two talents here on top of the eight and a half percent that you get from just the extra little uh extra little half percents that you get around the extra talents and that brings your total extra attack up to 25.5 percent given those conditions of it being a rally under 50 percent all right now let's talk about the equipment we're going to be putting on this rally now again we're optimizing for attack so that means that you're going to have to special talent all of these for leadership because lubu is the primary so that means you would have to craft a hammer of the sun and moon with a leadership talent 
just saying that out loud makes my skin boil but technically that would be the best in slot for infantry attack so that's going to give you with the talent 32.5 percent of extra attack we would actually use the witch's lineage here in this example with the special talent to get you 10 and a half percent of infantry attack because there's no legendary helmet that gives more than that for the chest we would craft the plate of the eternal empire also for the infantry attack and talented for leadership i mean you can see why this is actually a horrible idea to attempt because this piece on its own is just garbage but to put the wrong talent on it oh my god this is all for fun guys okay don't try this at home unless you want to set the world record anyway this would give you 14.5 percent extra infantry attack as far as the gloves go you could put calvin's hand on here for an extra five and a half percent of infantry attack but it's actually better to get a legendary piece of gloves even though they only give you defense because with the talent and the iconic crystal it's going to give you four base infantry attack and we're going to talk more about base stats near the end of the video but for now now you'll just have to trust me that four extra base stats is better than five and a half percent extra attack stats as far as the legs go you're also going to craft the greaves of the eternal empire with the leadership talent that's going to give you another 14 and a half percent of infantry attack you'll also grab the two piece set bonus here but that doesn't matter because it's not attack and we don't care about that for the boots we actually have to grab the boots of reverence these are a green piece but it's the only way to get uh infantry attack on your feet apparently Currently. so that'll get you three and a half percent of infantry attack when you get the leadership talent here and there's only one accessory that's going to increase your attack and that's going to be Seth's call so this has a 10 percent chance to grant this commander's troops and up to two nearby allies 10 percent increased attack with the special talent it's going to be 13 percent of extra attack so that means that to hit the world record you have to have a rallied army under 50 percent with the maximum amount of stacks on Harold's third skill with Lu Bu's third skill also procking at the same time that Seth's call is procking and you have to have all those pieces we just mentioned talented for leadership so you can see why setting this world record is probably not going to be something anyone has ever done before next let's talk about your city skin you're gonna need the supreme warrior city skin in order to hit this world record if you don't have this sorry you just can't do it uh, you can get close with another skin that gives you maybe plus 10 percent infantry attack I think the only one of which is the Babylonian gardens which was a really old Zenith of power skin I believe so yeah you also have to be an alliance that has finished its tech and if you are that's going to give you an extra 15 percent infantry attack needless to say you also have to finish your own military technology and that's going to give you another 70 percent of total attack or your infantry and since we're talking about technically the world record for highest attack ever in rise of kingdoms it does mean you'll have to finish your crystal technology now really you don't have to finish it you just have to get quenched blades three all the way up to level 10 because nothing past that actually gives you attack it gives you damage and we don't care about damage we only care about attack all in all this will give you an extra 42 percent of infantry attack this should go without saying but your barracks has to be level 25 because that's going to give you an extra two percent of attack you have to at least be vip 11 in order to accomplish this but if you maxed your crystal tech you probably are this gives you another five percent of troop attack here as far as holy sites go your alliance better have the shrine of war and the shrine of honor as well as the flame altar over here in your home kingdom and since you're in kvk you're going to need the hieron of thorns for the extra five percent of attack there as well now i know there are multiple hierons of thorns here but it does say in the rules that buffs from the same type of hierons do not stack so you technically only need one of these hierons but you do need the fury citadel this gives you an extra three percent so that means that you have to at least be in Kingsland in order to set this uh this world record speaking of Kingsland hopefully a rune drops that gives you plus 10 percent attack because that's the only way that you're gonna get the world record I mean it doesn't have to drop from the zig just anywhere you can get your hands on a plus 10 percent attack hopefully you're an r4 in your alliance because you're gonna need the warlord title for that extra one percent now from a kingdom perspective you're gonna have to either be the king or the general those are the two that give you the most amount of attack here either one is fine for our goal of max attack make sure and use your plus 10 percent extra attack boost as well that's a no-brainer and while you're at it make sure to pop the uh books and battles because this is going to give you another 10 percent extra attack that's an alliance skill if you guys 
didn't know make sure you come over to the newspaper and see if you get a one percent infantry attack buff i actually don't think i've ever seen anything higher than one percent but i never pay attention to this so you guys can comment down below if there's something higher than one but yeah you can start to see why the odds are stacking against you ever hitting this world record oh don't forget to activate your war frenzy as well this is going to give you an additional three percent then you're going to come over here and you're going to set your herald as the drill master and your Lubu as the charge captain. That's going to give you an extra 2% of attack right there. And finally, next to your rally, you need an ally who is buffing you with Mulan. Like, yes, like standing right next to the rally and using her active skill, and she has to be expertise. So hopefully you have a friend with an expertise Mulan willing to help you get this world record because she's going to give you an extra 20% increased attack i can't think of any other commander that gives you a higher attack buff but if i'm wrong about that then let me know in the comments below okay now let's recap everything during the three turns that lubu's third skill is procced and you have max stats on your herald and you're rallying that's 210 percent extra attack during those three turns if you use the talent build i showed you before and the rally is below 50 percent strength you get an extra 25 and a half percent of stats all the equipment with the talents that i showed gives you an extra 94 percent of infantry attack all of those other buffs that i listed including the mulan being next to you and expertise is 230 percent additional infantry attack so if you add all of that up together during those three turns, assuming all of those conditions are met, you would have an additional 554% infantry attack, but we're not done because we didn't talk about civilizations. Now, this is where things start to get a little more nuanced because we do have the Viking civilization that gives you an extra 5% of infantry attack and on paper that seems like it's the best option here however that's not technically true i can't believe i'm saying this but technically the samurai unit in japan is the best unit to hit this world record why is that well first of all you get to keep three percent of the attack that you're missing out from switching from Viking to Japan. So yes, you lose 2% here. However, the Samurai Special Unit gives you 232 base infantry attack. That is the highest amount of base attack that you can get in the game for infantry. That is in comparison, the Vikings only have, I think, 221 base infantry attack points so even though the vikings technically have a higher five percent infantry attack the two percent advantage it has over japan is not enough to compensate for the fact that it's 11 points lower in base attack and the final piece to the puzzle is iconic crystals now putting an iconic crystal into your talented gloves and weapon which i can't show you will give you an additional four base attack points for each piece so that's a total of eight additional base attack points that will go onto your tier five samurai i jump back to my main i know this isn't the samurai so under all of these perfect conditions you're going to have your infantry have an additional 557 percent infantry attack and that will be multiplied against the 240 base attack points of your samurai with the two iconic crystals so if you can make that perfect storm happen during the three seconds that this third skill procs with all the other conditions that we listed in this video, you would be able to set the world record for the highest amount of attack on any troop type with any commander pairing possible in rise of kingdoms. And then the rally will still get swarmed down because it's absolutely garbage. Now there's a chance that I missed something crucial in this video. Maybe I missed a percentage point here or there, or maybe there's a slightly better talent build for Lubu that you can do that gets you an extra half percent. If you're willing to do the math and figure out if I'm wrong or not, please comment down below. And also let me know if you want to know what the highest possible attack is for Archer and for cavalry because I also did the math for them as well but that would make this video way longer than it already was so I just wanted to cut it here do you think anybody out there is crazy enough and in a position where they could actually accomplish this world record I doubt it it would have to be like Baba or Justin or Maverick but do they want to do this no this is 
this is pointless don't do this anyway with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace